Good morning, everyone. How are you? Welcome back. I do not need that. I'm super excited for today's video. I actually have an in-person audition today and it is my first in-person audition for a professional theater company. I am so excited. Right now, I, I don't feel nervous at all, which is shocking. Um, and I always find that when I'm auditioning for a new theater, whether it is just community or if it is something professional, I'm sending in a video or something like that. Like whenever it's new, I don't feel as nervous. I'm sure it's going to kick in. I have quite the drive to get there. But right now I just feel really at peace. I feel like I'm just really excited. I'm super, super pumped up. So I'm just getting ready now and when I get ready for auditions, I like to, or really for anything like important, I like to take out all the makeup that I know I'm going to want to use just so I can, I don't know, I guess like map it out a little bit in my head. I just think it makes it so much easier. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Genevieve? I also want to mention that this video is in partnership with Audible, one of my favorite, favorite platforms. So thank you so much to Audible for partnering with me on this video. Before this, I was fixing up my hair a little bit. I had to do more touch-ups, but I just pinned my bangs back. I had candles going. I was listening to an audiobook. So it was just really good vibes in here. I'm listening to The Light We Carry. It's by Michelle Obama. She is just such a queen i love her so much and the way she writes is so beautiful i just feel like right now more than ever this month and in this world that is what we need right now is this light and this hope and i'm constantly looking to others for how they feel like they can carry out hope in their lives when things get tough i think it's something that we all can just relate to and I admire her so much and I think just hearing the audiobook really enhances things and I love reading I love 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 reading obviously I'm a teacher but sometimes when I'm driving or getting ready or doing something I really just like to listen to something especially before auditions like I don't necessarily want to listen to musical theater the entire time I would rather listen to a book or a podcast or just something to calm me and an audible is just the perfect thing for that and I oh this is a pretty color I love audible because there's so many different genres out there so if there's a book you want to read or a podcast or if you want to hear from experts it's all out there for you and they have a membership program and as an audible member you can actually choose a title out of your whole catalog per month and you can hold on to that i'm already almost done with the light we carry so i'm going to need something else so if you guys have any recommendations please let me know it down below and if you want to try audible new members actually can try it out completely for free for 30 days it's really nice just so you can explore a little bit see the different podcasts the audiobooks there's bestsellers on there so all the new books come in and it's just a really nice way to still be able to experience the books while you were on the go going on walks on your way to work getting ready like me right now so check it out i will put a link right here on the screen and in the description for you and thank you so much again to audible for partnering with me on this video i'm all about the skin right now before doing the makeup i feel like it's so important just to prep everything so i really love this line by road I love the glaze. I just feel like it really hydrates you and it gives you such a pretty glow before you even start. So I'm going to put that on. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to put this one under my eyes because I don't want to be overly moisturized. I already did all that this morning. <laughs> okay. All right. I did a pretty light layer of foundation and concealer. And now I'm going to use this Ilia eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. Oh god, let's see if I can focus. Oh my god. I feel like a makeshift tripod right now. I don't want it to fall. Anyways, that's it. Um, I've really been trying to buy cleaner makeup. Most of this is clean. I think the Dior blush probably is not clean. This is probably not clean, but a lot of it is. You know, all we can do is try. When I found out that I had Hashimoto's, um, I was just reading about how important it is to have cleaner products and 
it can be really overwhelming to do every single thing that they tell you to do like oh get rid of all your plastic containers and get glass containers and get a water filter and change all your products and i'm like oh my god that's a lot it really is so i've just been making um small changes here and there i don't really wear too much makeup during the week anyways so it was fun you know researching some new products and then starting to incorporate them whenever i do wear makeup and for auditions for the most part i really do keep it natural um i just want them to see me for me and i feel like that's really important for an audition um you know sometimes it's fun to inspire them like for community theater if i know that there's a certain part that i want like for heathers i went in there and i didn't you know dress up as a character but i wore like a little blazer so i think it can be fun to like give them like a little hint and show them the possibilities but um for the most part i just like to show them who i am and this is a professional theater company for a whole season so you know you just kind of want to give them like a blank canvas to who you are most of the roles that i'm going for i mean i will literally accept a tree but um they're all pretty young so i don't really want to wear too too much but your girl sweats a lot so we gotta make sure that it's just like all there that it's like a nice layer you know what i mean this week and i'm filming this by the time you're seeing it i'm probably back in school but we had this week off we get this winter break in february and it's honestly really nice because when i left douglas and started looking into what is happening here and started looking into new schools one of my biggest worries was what would I do the week of the commemoration of the tragedy? Because the last thing I'd want to do is be in school. And I was like, wow, am I going to have to take off every single year? But luckily, the school that I've been at for the past three years, um, they happened to have a winter break on this week. So it was like a very meant to be type of thing because it really is a blessing to be able to like not be in school that week or not have to be at work and just you know take some time for myself so it's just been nice this week to kind of wake up on my own time and take deep breaths and i guess just have time to reflect um during the the on the five year that already came that was earlier this week um i definitely feel the strongest i've ever been in my life when it comes to this um and I say that because I just remember like my first year and there's nothing wrong with of course like crying and whatnot but I just remember like I couldn't sleep at night I was shaking and it was so hard and I I think five years later on this day you know we went to the beach and we took a walk and I got to talk about like my beautiful students and the memories and um my hope for the future and and just really reflect um, whereas five years ago, I was so afraid and I, I am, it's hard not to be in the world we live in today, but I still like have that like frozen instinct where I like couldn't get up. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like I have just been growing a lot and it's been really, really nice. Another thing I've been doing to like just completely change the subject is watching love island uk and i am completely caught up with the uk you can watch it in the us on hulu but it comes out um a lot later we're like two weeks behind in the us so you either have to get like a what is it called like a vpn or whatever those things are called which you can buy online or it's completely legal or um you have to like find someone who's streaming it so I will watch it because I'm just so obsessed with it. Really good. I just finished up the cast of more part and I was shook, shook, shook. I will not give any spoilers at all, but if you watch it, definitely comment and let me know who your favorites are. I love Love Island. It's such a guilty pleasure for me. What time is it? Oh my gosh. I have like an hour which is good because I have to like warm up, I have to figure out what I'm wearing, finish doing all this, yada, yada, yada. Just added a little bit more of this, um, what is this called? The peptide glaze, 
just so that I can do this. It just feels so good. And also from a singing perspective, I just hope, I think it helps loosen my jaw a little bit. Um, it's just so nice. I usually do this um, before I go to bed, but this morning I did a little bit of ice rolling and this just helps relax me a little bit. I'm really big on the whole like deep puff lymphatic drainage. Obviously like, you know, physically it'll help just like deep puff anything, um, which can be quite uncomfortable. So it's really like that feeling and that's what I love so much about it. Like the fact that when I do feel a lot of inflammation from my autoimmune issues, um, it's just really uncomfortable. And so anytime I can do something like this, it just feels really good. I use a lymphatic drainage paddle from De La Heart and I run that up my legs. Sometimes on my stomach, it's really hard to do my stomach, I find, unless I'm laying down, it's better with your hands. And I do it on my arms too. And before that, I do some dry brushing. I'm gonna have to blend all this in when I'm done with my eyes. Um, but I love that stuff, I really do. And some people are like, oh, I don't feel like it works. And I'm like, you know what? Works for me. I think with anything, like, Nothing is like a one-stop shop. You know, you always have to find what works for you and then do more of it. A yoga teacher once told me that and never forgot it. You know, you don't forget those things. I do go back to school tomorrow. I don't know when you guys are watching this, so hopefully soon. Um, and I'm just like, not ready. You know, when you have a break and then you have to go back to school and you're like, already thinking about all the things that you have going on. We have a field trip that I'm working on planning. Um, this will be my second field trip going as like a acting administrator. I don't know if you guys have that at your schools, but essentially it's like a teacher or a staff member who's not, you know, technically on administration, but um, you know, you know how to run the field trip and do the paperwork and the forms and whatnot. So it's been fun being part of the planning process. It's definitely just a lot of hard work and I'm already thinking about all the things that I have to do tomorrow to catch up with that and just make sure we're all ready. I really love this stuff. It's by Say, S-A-I-E. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's just a really pretty cream bronzer. So what I do is I kind of start like that, but you can already tell when you start blending it out, it looks so nice. I'm not leaving it like this, don't worry. I did buy the brush that it came with. <laughs> and you kind of just blend it out. Blend, blend, blend it out. I do really love the, the lighting in here. It's so nice. Um, the tile that you see like kind of back there, it's like a lighter version throughout my house and I do not like it. Um, I have warmed the house up a bit just with like the wood furniture that I have gotten um, but I really want to get wood floors and when I say wood you know like I'm open to laminate or vinyl but I really haven't found the perfect one yet and it is such an investment that I'm like okay, we we're taking our time like this summer we started looking a little bit we were looking at the beginning of fall and I'm like you know what let's just take a pause um I'm like getting the itch to start again my bedroom has carpet in it and the allergist told me I'm allergic to dust I feel like every single person in the world is allergic to dust but um he was like yeah the first thing you really should do is remove the carpet from your room and I'm like great <laughs> this is the Dior brush I was telling you about. It's so beautiful, um, but it's it's probably not clean if I had to to guess. But you know, we we can't we can't win them all. Anyway, so yeah, I'm on the hunt for the perfect wood. If you have vinyl or laminate or real wood, tell me what you like about it. You know, I'm on the hunt. On the hunt. All right, it's coming together so far. I definitely like. I want more blush more more i have this one too it's a valentino blush they sent this to me and it's so pretty and i definitely know this isn't clean because it has a big bright fragrance to it but i feel like the the blush really gives it that like youthful vibe you know what i mean 
All right, so next what I have to do is, this is my favorite mascara right now. Mascara, what am I saying? Ilya, okay. That was not, um, I know that wasn't clear. I'm gonna use the Becca highlighter, maybe do a little bit of eyeliner, but I'm gonna do this off camera and then I'll check in with you when I'm fixing up this hair. I'm back, I found a dress that I like for this, I think. And I'm just finishing up curling my hair. And the way this will fall, it will just be really natural. So I just kind of blow it out and then do these curlers and they kind of just sit on their own. I'm no particular way. I'll brush it out anyways. And then I'll probably use a flat iron to just smooth out some of the frizz on the top. I need to warm up. All right. Here's the final look. Right now my hair is half up, so it kind of like gives that little bang moment, but I might take the whole thing down and then kind of go behind my ears a little bit. I don't know. My camera's about to die, so I'll touch base with you after. I'm just, I'm so excited. I just want to go in there and do this and be myself and show them who I am and have fun. I'm back. I've washed my face. I think it went really well. I was so calm going in it was one of those things where i truly just felt like this is where i was supposed to be at this time at this moment in my life um as i walked in being it was my first time but like i know who these people are and it's from afar i know who they are and it, it was just very surreal to be in the room with them and like their attention was on me for that moment and i think that was just very exciting for me i got a little nervous at the beginning and then i think when i first started singing i actually blacked out a little bit <laughs> and um it was a little shaky but then i had this moment where i was like remember where you are um this is your chance to just show them who you are and what you bring to to these potential roles into this season and just something clicked in me and I was able to just let go and be present and just sang 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 and it just felt so right and I'm honestly just so proud of myself no matter what happens I know they must get hundreds if not probably close to a thousand maybe even more who knows submissions and auditions and I think just being there being in person doing the thing was so exciting and if I don't hear anything then I'm just I'm so grateful I had the opportunity and and I'll do it again and I'll try again and you know we'll just keep getting better and, and growing but if I do get it that would just be the most exciting thing in the world the thing with musical theater is it's like one of those things I put my entire heart and soul into so like I will work 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 um so hard just to get to where I need to be um so we'll see what happens we will see 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 but thank you all for for watching this video and coming along